Successful people relish calculated risks. One of the most interesting finance shows I watch features interviews with financial managers. These people manage multi-billion dollar hedge funds, mutual funds, and other financial instruments. One particular fund manager blew my mind. The interviewer asked him, what do you do to avoid risk? The fund manager said, I don't run away from risk. Instead, I run to the risk that meets the reward that I'm looking for. This floored the interviewer. You actually assume risk? Well, it was kind of an ironic moment because I assumed that if this financial advice show host really knew his stuff, he would not have been surprised at all. One of the long-standing rules of the finance world is no risk means no reward. Put in another way, if you are looking for a high reward, you have to take on a lot of risk. Risk is always part of the package. Successful people know this. Accordingly, they take calculated risks because they know that the greater the risk, the greater the reward. Unfortunately, people trying to copy successful people oftentimes get it wrong. They end up gambling. They end up taking shots in the dark, hoping to get lucky. There's a big difference between risk-taking and gambling. Risk-taking only happens when you're properly educated about what you stand to gain and what you stand to lose, and the probability of that loss. When gambling, you're just focusing on odds, and that's all you pay attention to. When you take calculated risks, you look at what's currently happening, what could possibly happen, and make strategic decisions. The good news is that the more educated you are about the move that you are about to make, the lower your risk. You can't entirely make it go away, but you can manage your risk. Successful people always find ways to assume more risk while managing it. They actively seek risk. They run to it. They don't run away from it. Eventually, they keep repeating this over and over to achieve impressive results, and they begin to control risk. They always have a plan B. Maybe this takes the form of insurance. Maybe they hedge their bets buying different types of companies in different industries, or they buy different asset classes. For example, you could be buying risky stocks, but offsetting it by buying government bonds or investing in local real estate. In the same portfolio, if they're buying stocks, they would buy blue chip, stable stocks, and balance it out with more aggressive tech stocks. Regardless, successful people relish calculated risks. Risks do not stop them in their tracks. Instead, they see calculated risks.